In this video clip, I will describe how to perform meta-analysis and subgroup meta-analysis in SPSS with an outcome that is continuous and binary and how to estimate and calculate the uh, effect size for a continuous outcome based on standardized mean difference and an effect size based on odds ratio or risk ratio for a binary outcome and how to produce a forest plot and a funnel plot in SPSS. If this video is useful, subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or queries regarding the video in the comment section and click on the notification bell to receive the most recent releases of video clip to the channel and click on the like icon and share the video with others so that the channel can develop and improvise to include further wide scope of different statistical method and how to perform uh, statistical um, techniques in several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad Prism, GPower, GMP, and Drevman. Performing meta analysis to generate forest plot and funnel plot in SPSS. The meta analysis technique is a statistical method that combines the results of two or more studies to estimate pooled effect size. So the method will systematically review and analyze data from studies to identify uh, common patterns and to draw a conclusion and to determine a pooled result or pooled uh, effect size. The uh, meta-analysis also uh, measures the variability among results through confidence interval, 95% confidence interval, and through homogeneity or heterogeneity test, which is uh, represented by an I square. Forest plot is a figure that displays results from meta-analysis. The forest plot have three sections in it, descriptive data, plot, and statistical analysis. The funnel plot is a plot that represent or displays the variability of each individual studies against the standardized effect size. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted um, data for meta-analysis as shown here in the left column uh, a study is inserted there are 10 studies from study number one to study number 10 and a year of the study is uh, uh, inserted next to the study in the second column the number of participant or the sample size in each study next column is the mean for the study and the third one is the standard deviation so there are here for each study two groups treatment groups or experimental groups and a control group t for treatment c for uh, control so we have here from each study two groups and the 
total number of participant is given the mean for the uh, measured um, variable is given and the uh, standard deviation for the collected data is given so to perform meta-analysis in SPSS is to try to pull all this data together and determine the uh, overall effect size and find out whether there is uh, less uh, heterogeneity between these studies to do the meta-analysis in uh, SPSS click on analyze and then you need to use the uh, latest version of SPSS which is 28 the function for uh, meta-analysis is available on 28 version so if you click on meta-analysis as shown here there are several options depending on what outcome uh, the data have uh, either an continuous outcome or a binary outcome a continuous outcome when there is a scale and a variable is continuous and the mean is determined for each study so the data here is continuous and raw data will be uh, selected as the mean is given here however if the pre-calculated effect size is done then that options will be selected and if the data are binary or the outcome is binary uh, uh, it has two levels in it such as uh, um, there is an odd ratios measured as odd ratios or hazard ratio then the binary outcome selection for raw, raw data or pre-calculated effect size will be used in the current situation for this studies or these studies we have a continuous variable then select the raw data a new window will appear and in that new window there are sections one section for treatment group or experimental group and another section for control group and a third section for study id and uh, effect size choices on the right hand size with the model whether to go for random or fixed effects so start filling and moving the data into the uh, designed or assigned box so for the treatment group sample size will be the n which stand for the number or uh, for treated and then the mean move into the mean for the treated group and the standard deviation for the treated group and then number for the control number of cases the mean for the um, control and the standard deviation for the control and move the study to the study id uh, in uh, the box here for the effect size there are several options and usage whether to use the Cohen, Cohen's D or Higgs G or glass delta I'm going to select the Higgs G and uh, take on adjusted standard error um, as our data here is continuous and Higgs is a measure of uh, effect size in fact it's a standardized effect size click on the criteria here will not do any changes and if we click on the icon for analysis no changes as we are not planning to do any subgrouping analysis however if we want to do a subgrouping analysis then um, then that's uh, options can be selected for inferences no changes at this stage for bias no changes for time and fill no changes and for print this is an important part so we'll select the homogeneity test heterogeneity measures which is i square and then effect size for individual studies and prediction and tick on the prediction interval under random um 
effects as we had selected the random effect model here click on continue for the save no changes for the plot here we're going to generate two plots the forest plot and the funnel plot for the forest plot tick on the forest plot and in the display columns select the effect size the confidence interval limits the p-value and the weight and in the section for annotation tick on homogeneity heterogeneity and test for the section reference lines tick on overall effect size and null effect size and then this is for selecting the forest plot and drawing the forest plot now to draw the funnel plot again tick on the funnel plot here use the study id to label for the label box here so we have here two selected plots or graphs the forest plot and the funnel plot you could also draw the purple plot and galbreath plot we'll stick only with these two plot click on continue an output is generated as shown here we'll scroll down to the plots here the first plot is the forest plot and we just adjust this a little bit so we can see the whole uh, plot as much as we can or is it possible there are three section in the forest plot three sections the um, descriptive part the plot part and the statistical part as shown here for the legend blue square um, represent the effect size for each study and the diamond green diamond represent the pooled the overall estimate of effect size the blue dotted line is the line of no effect and the horizontal lines here are the 95% confidence interval limits, upper and lower limits for the effect size. So this is the effect size and the line here is the confidence interval. The red dotted line is the overall pooled effect size value as shown here given 0.72 and if we look at the diamond shape here which is the overall effect size it has a, a horizontal line which is the estimate of overall confidence interval and as shown on the scale here the scales uh, can be minus or positive as we have here a continuous variable back again to the descriptive uh, um, output here as shown here in the left hand side is the id or the study number and the year for the 10 studies and then next to it which is the hedge g which is the uh, effect size for each study and that effect size is calculated by uh, performing um uh, a mean difference or even standardized mean difference based on the pooled standard deviation so the value here is the standardized effect size for each study the next uh, value are the 95 percent confidence interval for the hedged value and um, then next to it is the p-value and as shown here for the first study there is a significant difference between the control and the treated and that's also as the p-value is less than 0.05 and this is backed up by also the 95 percent confidence interval as the effect size lays between this upper and lower uh, values for the confidence interval and uh, the sim similarly also for the second study there is no significant uh, between the treated and the uh, um, 
control uh, as the, the p-value is greater than 0.05 and the 95 percent confidence interval has crossed the zero, va zero value so there is no significant differences in the study number two uh, number three no significant number four and five no number six and six and seven no differences eight no significant difference nine and ten there is a difference the next uh, uh, data is the weight the weights represent that each study is weighted and the weight percentage represents or indicate the amount of influences uh, each individual study has on the overall size effect so the weight is a measure of the influence for each study as each study has its own size or number of participants and studies with higher weight have a higher sample size in the bottom section here the overall um, size effect standardized size effect or the hedges g value is given here as 0.72 and this uh, um, uh, value is significant as there is a p-value of less than 0.05 and this value also lay between the upper and the lower 95 percent confidence interval so this is the pooled uh, overall estimate size which shows that uh, uh, there is a difference between the control compared to the treatment. This uh, meta-analysis proves that combining all this data, we could make a conclusion that there is a genuine difference um, when using the drug to treat a certain group uh, as given here the, by the pooled overall value. Looking at the next section in the graph, which is the forest plot, and as shown here, um, that um, uh, the blue squares represent the uh, um, effect size for each study, and larger squares reflect the um, uh, size of the samples or the study if the study have a, a, a higher number of participant then the square will be larger and the uh, confidence interval is represented by the horizontal line from the forest plot it is shown here that the pooled estimate size uh, for if size effect for the studies is 0.7 Looking at the third section here, which is the statistical analysis, as shown here, the model is a random effect model. And for heterogeneity, an I square is given, which is a 0.19, and that is a very low, low value, which indicate that there is less variability among the studies and this is also double confirmed by the homogeneity tests which give a value of a p-value of less uh, of greater than 0.05 which means that they these studies have a homogeneity so this test will test the null hypothesis that uh, the data are uh, or the studies uh, the data from the studies are homogeneous, there is no variability, and the alternative hypothesis is that the uh, studies data are heterogeneous and it is not uh, homogeneous. So the p-value indicates uh, there is a homogeneity between the study and less variability. And uh, finally here, the uh, test for overall effect size using z score as the data is uh, from each study is standardized to for comparison uh, using the hedge g 
which is a standardized mean difference the p-value is less than 0.05 which is significant so from this forest plot it is possible to make a conclusion that there is a significant difference between treated group and um, control group based on the meta-analysis from 10 studies moving to the next plot which is the funnel plot which plots the um, effect size or the hedge g standardized effect size and the standard arrow as shown here a shape of a funnel the distribution of the effect size should be under the funnel and it should be equally or evenly distributed between the upper and lower uh, pooled uh, effect size which is the hedge g size which is equal here should be 0.72 so this funnel plot was also important in the uh, important part of meta-analysis as it will indicate the whether there is a bias in the analysis meta-analysis uh, to uh, draw forest plot and funnel plot in SPSS when the outcome of the studies are binary binary outcome is an outcome or a variable that have only two levels in it so it's binomial either yes or no life or dead and the estimate for the effect size is the odds ratio here in this SPSS data view I have a data that has been extracted from 12 studies as shown here uh, with the first column a study ID or the first variable there are 12 studies and uh, in each study the uh, objective of uh, each study was to look at uh, the effect of uh, using a novel uh, drug to treat a condition so here we have two groups of uh, data for each study treatment group and a control group and the treatment uh, group has uh, two variables in it the first variable is whether the treatment was successful or whether the treatment was not successful failed so for each uh, group um, individual or participant were recruited and given a drug and then followed up and then the number of participant who had recovered completely from the condition were recorded as successful and those who failed are counted uh, the second group is the control group or the placebo this group have not been given any treatment and the participant are used for referencing so the uh, the control group have two variables in it the first variable measures the number of individual that who have recovered from the disease and they are given called a success and those who have recovered from the condition are counted and placed in the variable c success control success and those who did not recover uh, without any intervention uh, they are recorded here in this variable uh, for control failure so there are two groups a group of intervention that given a drug and a group that had not given a drug and then a follow-up period to look out if the and observe whether the condition has uh, been cured uh, and the objective is to look at uh, the efficacy uh, whether this drug can cure the condition so here the data are binary so the outcome from each study is binary or binomial 
So there are two levels or two categories in it. Uh, the treatment groups either succeed, successful or failed, and the uh, control group either successful or failed. This data are binary. So each group has two levels in it, either successful or failure uh, for the uh, intervention and for the control. Both groups are binary and the way to combine and uh, in add all the uh, studies together and the result from these studies to do a meta-analysis is the, to use the estimate effect size which is the odds ratio as these data or the outcomes from these studies are binary and the way to do um, binary uh, meta-analysis is to click on analyze and then click on meta-analysis here and then uh, since the outcome is binary then select the binary outcome and since uh, the data are raw there is no pre-calculated effect size we'll stick with the raw data click on that uh, option a new window here uh, will pop up and as shown here there are two sections for doing binary meta-analysis treatment group intervention group exposure group and a control group or a reference group and for each group there are two levels or two categories success failure success failure so this is a binary outcome or binary data or sometimes it's called dichotomous and the way to uh, fill that is select the study id and move it to this section and for the treatment move it to this box and for the failure the success in this one and the failure in this one and for the control see success move it to the control group and the failure for the failure section the effect size that will be measured here is the log odds ratio there are several options we could go for bit to log uh, odds ratio or risk ratio or risk difference for this uh, video we'll stick with the effect size for odds ratio and uh, the model will be used here will go for the fixed effect mantle uh, hensel method and if we look in criteria here um, no changes will be performed and if we select the options for analyze these options can be done when there is subgrouping analysis or the meta-analysis require um, sectioning of the studies into uh, groups and then perform independent separate meta-analysis but we'll not do this in this occasion and if we click on contrast um, no changes here and if we click on bias uh, we'll leave this uh, aside now uh, and for print for printing the output from a binary meta-analysis tick on the test of homogeneity uh, heterogeneity measures and effect size individual study display exponential statistic or statistics click on continue for uh, save not going to do any changes here for the plot uh, i am interested in generating two important plot the first plot is the forest plot uh, and then in the first plot i want to display the effect size the standard error the confidence interval limit the b value or limits the weight and display the exponential form and for annotation tick on homogeneity heterogeneity test and for reference lines tick on overall effect size null effect size and then 
so this section is for the forest plot and if we are interested in also simultaneously generating a funnel plot for publication bias click on the funnel plot and then move the study id into this section click on continue now if we click on ok and SPSS will generate an output as shown here. The meta-analysis summaries shows the data are in row and the outcome is binary and the effect size measures or estimate is the log odds ratio and the model is selected fixed effects and the weight is based on mantel Hensel method. Moving to this section here, effect size estimate, the effect size calculated is 2.77 and the p-value is less than 0.05. So there is a significant difference between the treatment group and the control for overall all the study. So this effect size is a pooled or overall effect size for the 12th studies or the odds ratio for the, or the 12 studies and this value is significant and the 95 percent confidence interval includes this effect size in it this gives a double confirmation that the observation or the findings or the overall effect size is significant and uh, here also given an exp exponential effect size with its uh, 95 percent confidence interval for this section which is the test of homogeneity based on chi-square and q statistics and the degree of freedom is given and a p-value is significant uh, or significance or the p-value is given here so this test uh, reflects the degree of uh, homogen heterogeneity between studies and uh, for the um, um, homogeneity test the higher the uh, p-value or the p-value greater than 0.05 that indicate there is less heterogeneity and more uh, homogeneity among the studies so these uh, um, 12 studies uh, um, shows that there is less uh, heterogeneity among them if we look at the following section here um, i squared is uh, produced which is presented in a percentage uh, and uh, the percent is equal to zero which indicate that uh, there is no heterogeneity among the studies the next most important diagram is the forest plot so this plot is representing the uh, forest plot and there are three sections in it the first section here which is descriptive statistics the second section is uh, uh, diagrammatic representation and the third section here is the, the, the statistical analysis so looking at the first part as shown here the id for each study from 1 to 12 an odd ratio is generated for each individual study as shown here as shown here the or is given in exponential form and to revert that to non-exponential then you click again on meta-analysis uh, binary and in the plot section untick display exponential or exponentiated form and click on continue and click on ok and as shown here uh, the uh, um, stats descriptive here is given in the log or and uh, as shown from this output each individual study has its own log uh, odds ratio and the standard error is generated and 95% uh, confidence interval for lower and upper and a p-value so there are two layers of uh, confirming the significance of these observations that compare 
the association between treatment and recovery from the disease compared or the condition compared to the control or reference group as shown here there is a significant uh, association between taking the drug and recovery from the condition and also a weighted value is given for each study and a percentage of the weight study and that reflect the influence of the uh, sample size on the analysis this is for the first section moving to the second section and before even moving to the second section here there is a value generated called overall estimate effect size which is the odd ratio or odds ratio which is equal to 2.77 and standard error is generated and upper and lower for 95 percent confidence interval and a p-value so this is the pooled or, or overall odds ratio from all the 12 studies and it shows that there is a uh, significant association between taking the drug and recovery from the condition compared to the reference group looking at the second section here which is the diagrammatic representation of the effect size for each individual study and the overall effect size and if we look at the legend here we notice that the square uh, symbol here represent effect size for each study so each study has its own effect size the diamond here is the overall or pooled effect size and for each study there is a horizontal line which reflects the confidence interval so this is the estimate effect size for each study and the horizontal line is the confidence interval a 95 percent confidence interval with a lower and upper limits or value and for also the overall estimate uh, effect size there is a um, horizontal line that represent the 95 percent confidence interval the red line here the horizontal dashed red line represent the overall uh, effect size which is the overall odds ratio which is 2.77 so this uh, graphs here is a representation of the descriptive um, statistical descriptive for each studies and for the overall uh, effect size from these 12 studies and as shown here at the bottom the scale is start from one and onward and the size for each uh, square here reflects the percentage or weight percentage so uh, larger samples uh, or larger study sample size have larger squares as if we look here at the study number uh, 10 we can see that uh, the sample size is higher as measured by the weight percentage of weight so smaller squares means the sample size is small and larger square means the represent the larger sample size and the overall effect size or the overall odds ratio in this case is the green diamond and it is on the scale of 2.77 this is the second section for the forest plot the third section for the forest plot is the statistical analysis as shown here the model is fixed effect model or effects model and heterogeneity test uh, as shown here the i squared is zero so that's reflect that there is no heterogeneity and the results from all these 12 studies are homogeneous and as given here by a p-value greater than 0.05 which means that there is homogeneity among the studies and for the test of overall effect size which is the or uh, odds ratio that is standardized uh, z, uh, through z scale uh, p value is less than 0.05 
so the overall conclusion from this forest plots shows that for all these 12 studies that we're looking at and investigating one objective which is the effect of this drug in treating the condition by having two groups uh, one uh, intervention group and one reference group there is a higher association of success for recovery from the condition when the treatment is uh, added or given to the participant compared to a reference group and this association is significant moving to the the last graph which is the funnel plot a funnel plot will display whether there is a publication bias and it has on the y-axis the standard errors and on the x-axis is the log of odds ratio so the odds ratio for each uh, study is uh, given here as numbered from study number one to study number 12 and the line here in the middle represent the pooled or overall effect size which is the odd ratio overall odd ratio of 2.77 from this funnel shaped graph so the distribution of these studies should be equal on the above and the lower which indicates if they are equal or approximately equal no bias however if they are unequal then they suggest a bias and as we can see here we have one two three four five six seven on the above the um, pooled um, odds ratio and there are one two three four five below so this plot will determine whether there is a bias in the publication and then this also need to be backed up by eagers uh, regression analysis meta-analysis for binary outcome in SPSS to draw a forest plot and funnel plot so what is a binary outcome a binary outcome is a variable that have two levels in it so it is a nominal variable a categorial variable that have only two levels in it yes or no uh, uh, dead or life agree or disagree have the disease doesn't have the disease and the risk ratio is the uh, risk of the probability of an event occurring in the treatment or intervention or exposure group uh, compared to the probability of the event occurring in the control or reference or unexposed group here in this data view in SPSS, I had inserted uh, data uh, for 12 studies as in the first column or the first variable is study ID from study number one to study number 12. And in each study, the publisher has uh, assigned participant or arranged the participant into two groups. A treatment group and a second group which is a control group so here we have the data for the intervention and the data for the reference group and in the intervention group we have here the T stands for uh, treatment and uh, uh, event uh, happening and then a number of uh, event not happening the total participant for the treatment group and for the control group the uh, number of events happening in the control number of uh, event not happening or occurring in the control and the total number of uh, uh, participants so here two segregated group and the number of event in each uh, group is 
determined with the number of uh, no event so here to uh, compare and combine and uh, uh, look at the uh, results from these 12 studies and meta-analyses will be performed and since the outcome from each group or from the study is in a format of a binary outcome which have two levels in it event happening no event happening so here the outcome is binary and to perform meta-analysis for this binomial or binary outcome then the uh, risk ratio will be uh, uh, taken or, or used as a, an effect size estimate. To do the meta-analysis in SPSS, click on the analyze option here and then select the meta-analysis option here and since the outcome is binary then and the data are raw data not a pre-calculated effect size then select the raw data option and a new uh, window will appear which is the meta-analysis for binary outcome and as shown here there are two sections treatment group control group and then study id move the study id to uh, the variable for the study id into this section and for the treatment group we have three variables what we want here is the success which is the event occurring and the failure that no event occurring that is for the treatment group and for the uh, control group for the uh, uh, success then in the control group move the event to this section and for the failure no event in the control group so here we have the data sectioned into two part treatment group control group with event occurring with event not occurring for both group in the right hand section the effect size measured here will be the log risk ratio we could go for risk differences but we'll stick with the log risk ratio and for the model to choose we'll stick with the random effect if we click on criteria no changes will be selected or no options will be selected for the uh, analysis uh, this can be done when there will be a subgroup analysis which will not be in our case here be done uh, clicking in enter uh, in inferences no major selection or changes in the bias no major or no more selections in the time and uh, fell no selection on the print section here is very important we need the homogeneity or heterogeneity test so test for homogeneity heterogeneity measures which is the i squared uh, and effect size individual uh, studies and uh, tick on the prediction interval under the random effect model and then click on continue for save um, not going to save any for the plot which is in this case uh, two important plot the forest plot and the funnel plot though there are other plot will stick with these two so to select and generate a forest plot tick on that box for displaying columns tick on the effect size tick on the standard error tick on the confidence interval limit tick on the p-value and tick on weight percentage weight and for variable uh, I'm going to move all the variable into the uh, additional column by highlighting them all and then click on the arrow and in this section here annotation take on homogeneity take on heterogeneity take on test 
and for reference line taken over all effect size and uh, null effect size click on continue click on ok and output is generated showing that the, this uh, meta analysis has been performed and a summary is generated the data type uh, is in raw the outcome is binary and the effect size measure is the log risk ratio and the model is random effect and the weight is inverse variance and the estimated method is REML moving to this section which is the effect size estimate this is the pooled uh, effect size estimate which is the risk ratio or the overall risk ratio with a value is generated here and a p-value is less than 0.05 which is significant and a confidence interval with a lower and upper limit and the effect size fit within that uh, limit scrolling down to the um, here this section which is the test of homogeneity to look for uh, uh, heterogeneity or homogeneity uh, among the result from several studies the 12 studies as shown here the chi-square which is q statistic is calculated and a p-value is given and we need this p-value to be higher than 0.05 as shown here by the i-squared percentage which is 21 percent uh, uh, heterogeneity so there is no level of heterogeneity so this table is the one for testing for heterogeneity heterogeneity between uh, uh, results from all the 12 studies moving to the next section which is the uh, forest plot in fact i'm going to uh, go back again and uh, uh, select from the plot here put display the exponentiated form and click on ok uh, again the plot is redrawn as shown here uh, the plot is cons consist or is made up of three sections the descriptive um, statistics the diagram and the third part which is the overall pooled effect size with the heterogeneity test let us look at the first section here which is a descriptive the first column shows the studies from study number 1 to 12 and the second uh, label here is the risk ratio for each individual study is calculated and a 95% confidence interval for lower and upper is given here and a p-value for the significance of the association between the treatment to the control based on the estimate effect size which is the risk ratio is also given here the weight and the weight percentage is given here the um, uh, scores or the number of events in each group and no event with the total for each uh, study also is given here so this is a descriptive uh, 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 statistical with some uh, uh, calculation for statistics for each study here the next uh, diagram uh, or next part of this diagram is as shown here is just a reflection or a representation of the values for the uh, effect size which is the rr the risk ratio the 95% uh, confidence interval as shown here these uh, uh, squares blue squares represent the uh, effect size which is the risk ratio for each individual separate study uh, larger uh, squares in reflect the weight percentage which means that larger studies will have larger squares as shown here the horizontal line here is the 95 percent confidence interval and the red dotted or dashed vertical line here is the overall 
uh, risk ratio or effect size and this is also represented which is here uh, 2.34 represented by a diamond and uh, this horizontal um, line here this one is the 95 percent confidence interval so the overall uh, risk ratio is the diamond here which is 2.34 so this is the second section back again to the first section as we see here we get an overall um, uh, risk ratio which is 2.34 and a 95 percent confidence interval with a lower and upper limits and a p-value of less than 0.05 as the p-value is less than 0.05 and it is significant looking at the last or the third section here or part from the forest plot uh, heterogeneity test can done here and there are two type a uh, tau squared uh, which is also, also uh, given a uh, statistics for it and the q statistics and we'll stick with the q statistics and a p value so for the heterogeneity test we need this p value to be above uh, 0 0.05 as i have explained previously and that indicates uh, uh, low levels of heterogeneity for the overall estimate effect size which is the overall or pooled rr a p value is given which is less than 0 0.05 the final part is to draw the uh, funnel plot and uh, to do that is back again to the meta analysis click on the plot and then tick on the funnel plot taken the funnel plot uh, square here and for labels move the study id to here click on continue and then okay again an output will be regenerated again with the forest plot and funnel plot on the x-axis is the log risk ratio in this case it's not the risk ratio and on the y-axis is the standard error and uh, the line on the middle here is the pooled effect size and the blue circles uh, effect size or the risk ratio for each individual study and uh, from this uh, funnel shaped uh, diagram it is possible to determine whether there is a publication bias uh, so the uh, distribution of the estimate effect size will be equal above the pooled estimate effect size uh, um, compared to the uh, below one below the effect size so the distribution of the uh, study uh, rr should be equally uh, on both uh, section here so it should be a symmetry and if we count the studies here one two three four five six seven eight on the right hand side and one two and three uh, on the left hand side with one is uh, outside the funnel so this indicate there is a certain degree of uh, uh, publication bias and this need to be uh, confirmed by another test which is the eagers regression test subgroup meta-analysis uh, for a binary outcome in spss uh, to generate forest plot and funnel plot here in SPSS data view, I had inserted data from 12 independent research studies that addresses the same scientific research question. So the studies are labeled from 1 to 12 on the, the uh, um, column or the variable labeled as study ID. The uh, other uh, um, variables or columns are the one for the treatment t for treatment and c for control each study has designed the research to uh, recruit participant into the study and arrange them into either a treatment or intervention or exposure group and a 
control group or a reference group here in this case the uh, treatment group are given a drug to test the efficacy of the drug in treating the condition and the control are given a placebo and the number of uh, a participant who completely recovered from the condition are counted and uh, scored and inserted in this section the first uh, column here with the, the data is the treatment event or success the next one is the treatment no event or failure and the third one is the total participant in the study uh, those who had succeeded and those who had failed to recover from the condition and the control also there is account for the uh, event occurrence which is the success without uh, or the recovery from the condition without intervention and also the failure uh, to recover without uh, intervention and the total of participant in the control group and in the far end section here is a um, variable for gender in which the first six studies they were looking at only male participant and in the uh, next half uh, or the remaining six studies other studies they were recruiting only females since the outcome here uh, for each study is a binary or a binomial uh, either there is a success or failure event occurring or net uh, event not occurring so it is a binary outcome for the treatment and for the intervention then the effect size that will be estimated here will be the odds ratio meta-analysis can be performed to combine all this uh, data from all the 12 study and find out the overall pooled uh, effect size and determine the level of uh, or the percentage of heterogeneity among the studies so either a meta-analysis can be done for all the 12 studies or a subgroup meta-analysis can be performed and the subgroup will be based on the gender for male or females and the way to do the subgroup meta-analysis in SPSS uh, click on the analyze section here then choose the meta-analysis option here and since the outcome is binary select the binary outcome and then click on the raw data as we have here raw data here in this new section um, our window for meta-analysis binary outcome a section for variable uh, or variables and a section for treatment group and control group and a section for effect size whether for odds ratio or risk ratio and a section for model so for the treatment group move the uh, treatment success into the into the section here and the uh, treatment failure into this part and for the control group move the control success into this part here and for the control failure into this part and for the study id select the study id and move it to the section here so here we have two groups treatment and control and the event happening in the treatment is selected for the variable for that one and for no event and similarly for the control group the effect size to choose from here will stick with the log odds ratio and for the model uh, we'll use the random effect model um, on the selection here click on criteria and there will be no uh, selection on the analyze 
or analysis uh, here is the section where we will perform subgroup meta-analysis and since the um, variable that we will use or we will subgroup the study based on the gender then move the gender into the uh, section here for subgroup uh, analysis click on continue and for uh, uh, inferences no changes will be performed for bias i will tick on the uh, eagers test and then click on continue for time and fill um, no selections for print uh, here it's very important to generate values for the i squared and heterogeneity test so tick on the test of homogeneity tick on the heterogeneity measure for the effect size for individual study tick on that and tick on the prediction interval under random effect model and tick on display exponential uh, statistic click on continue and for save no changes and for plot here an important part for uh, to uh, generate several plot will stick with the forest plot and the funnel plot so to produce a forest plot take on the square here then select and take the effect size the standard error the confidence interval the p-value and the weight here under this section also for annotation select the homogeneity heterogeneity and test and for reference line select the overall effect size and the null effect size and for the funnel plot tick on the selection option here for funnel plot and move the study id to the label and then click on continue now if we click on ok an output will be generated in spss and as shown here a meta analysis summary is given showing that the outcome is binary the effect size measure is the odds ratio the model chosen is random effects and the weighted or the weight is inverse variance and the estimated or estimation method is given here scrolling down into the uh, section for um, the test of homogeneity as shown here um, uh, shows the um, test of homo homogeneity is based on the chi-square q statistics and a value is generated for the male and for the female group and the significant value is given here and as shown here that the p-value is greater than 0.05 so for um, low level of heterogeneity we need this to be higher than 0.05 so here from this uh, data it is confirmed that there is um, uh, less degree of heterogeneity and can be confirmed by uh, the i squared as shown here that the i squared for the male is zero percent and for the females is 37.6 here the 37.6 is uh, there shows that there are uh, a, a certain level of uh, heterogeneity among the studies for females and also as shown here an overall uh, i squared for the gender is also given here which is 12.2 percentage which is a low level of heterogeneity and also a test of subgroup homogeneity for the gender is given here and it shows that that is uh, higher than 0.05 so from these uh, three sections or three tables we can say that uh, males have uh, no heterogeneity the studies that only contains male have no heterogeneity uh, so all the results are homogeneous for female or females study there is a heterogeneity and overall there is low level of heterogeneity for both gender um, we'll leave this eagers uh, regression uh, test later on as this is to check for bias 
uh, of publication, which is uh, another confirmation for the funnel plot. Scrolling down to the forest plot uh, diagram or chart, as shown here, this uh, plot consists of three sections. The first section here is a descriptive section, statistical description, uh, diagrammatic representation, and a third one, which is the overall estimate effect size and the test of heterogeneity. In the first section here, each study is um, given uh, uh, and the um, meta-analysis is performed based in subgrouping gender for male the first six studies for male the uh, the next second uh, and the next six studies for females and the id for each one of them with the, the subgroup overall values are given for both sections the male and the females so in the first section here is the odds ratio for each individual study is scored and recorded here and the standard error is given with the 95 percent confidence interval for the lower limits and the upper limit and the p-value for each individual separate studies and the weight percent is also uh, given here and the weight percent reflect the uh, effect of uh, the sample size on the overall meta-analysis um, calculations. As shown here in the lower part is the overall uh, estimate effect size, which is the overall odd ratio given here with the 95% confidence interval, standard error, and a p-value. Looking at the next section here, which is the diagrammatic representation of the descriptive uh, values, as shown here, the red line is the overall uh, estimate effect size, which is the odd ratio, which is 2.7. As shown here, the odd overall odd ratio is 2.79. And uh, the uh, ruler at the bottom here is a scale from 1 to up to infinite. Uh, and that's for the odds ratio. The squares here represent the odds ratio for each individual studies as colored here or color coded with blue. Uh, and as shown here, there are squares that are small and large. So large square reflect higher weights, higher sample size. Smaller one reflect smaller sample size studies. Uh, and as shown here, the um, odd ratio for each individual study is uh, plotted and the diamond uh, shaped uh, um, symbol here represent the overall uh, odd ratio for each group for the male group and for the female group so here we have uh, uh, blue squares for effect size for each individual study a green diamond for the overall odds ratio for the male and the odds ratio for the females and also a third diamond which is the overall uh, odds ratio for both combined male and females without uh, subgrouping and as shown here that the uh, OR odd ratio over all odd ratio for males is 2.96 and for females 2.71 and the overall, overall odd ratio is 2.79. The horizontal line here uh, represent the 95% confidence interval for each individual studies and for the overall um, um, uh, effect size uh, that has been generated. To do a few editing on the plot here, click on this uh, graph or plot and then double click on the 95% uh, 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 confidence interval and select that as shown here. And then let's uh, uh, make this uh, 0.5 to make it thinner, apply. And as shown here, this made the horizontal line uh, thinner. We could also change the color of the uh, 
uh, blue squares um, and even change the type of your wish we could go for circle and we apply it or we could go for any shape we would but we we'll stick with the uh, uh, square one and a blue one and uh, we could change the color into red and apply that uh, and also change the fill into red also and then click on apply and that will change the color into red so uh, several things can be changed here as uh, it's uh, needed uh, and if we just uh, minimize that um, or get out of it to back again to the uh, out of the editing uh, mood as shown here there are three parts and the third section here shows that the model is a random effect model and the heterogeneity test based on tau squared and on the q value for homogeneity or heterogeneity and also a test for overall effect size with a p-value given here which is uh, uh, significant less than 0.05 and uh, test between subgroup homogeneity uh, with a p-value given and as shown here the i squared is given to be 0.12 and uh, the uh, p-value is greater than 0.05 so from this graph it can be said that there is a difference in the odds ratio between male and females and the drug is or the treatment with the drug um, have a higher success rate compared to the control moving to the next plot which is the funnel plot as shown here in this funnel plot there are um, 12 studies numbered from 1 to 12 on the x-axis is uh, the odds ratio and on the y-axis is the standard error and the plot is in a shape of a funnel and the line in the middle is the odd ratio or the pooled odd ratio or the overall odd ratio which is 2.79 objective of this uh, plot to show whether there is a publication bias and for the lack of publication bias the distribution of the effect size or the odds ratio for the study should be equally on both sides of the line or uh, above the overall uh, odds ratio and below it and here there is bias of publication as there are the more uh, odds ratio in uh, above the uh, overall odds ratio than below it as here we have one two three four five six seven seven studies and here one two three four five so seven on the right side and uh, five on the left so there is uh, bias in publication as shown by this uh, uh, final plot if we scroll down here we can see that two final plots are produced one for the male and one for the females and as we can see here the distribution for the males shows that there are higher proportion of the studies or uh, to the right so there is asymmetry of distribution of the uh, odds ratio and for the females there are three here and three here so studies are uh, equally distributed uh, on both sides to um, confirm this observation then eagers regression test uh, is done to uh, test whether there is a, a bias looking at the section for eagers regression based test which shows the uh, or uh, determine or assess uh, the uh, publication bias for the group male and the group females and the overall group and as shown here uh, looking at the p value is less than 0.05 so we need the p value here to p 
greater than 0.05 so the males there is publication bias for the males or male study and for females uh, there is no publication bias as it is point uh, above 0.05 um, and for the overall there is a publication bias as the p-value is less than 0.05 so for publication bias two way of testing that through funnel plot and through eagles regression test if you are an undergraduate or a postgraduate or even a researcher and you have a data and you want to analyze that data uh, in any of these packages statistical packages uh, such as SPSS, Tata, Jamovi, Arc Statistics, Craftpad, Prism, uh, GMP, or Rivman, then contact me to arrange a one to one private uh, tutor session. Or if you are interested in uh, joining a training course for performing statistical analysis using any one of these listed packages then do contact me on the following email address uh, to arrange for either a private uh, tutor session or a training course for several uh, weeks.